Yo, what is up guys? So today I have this very cool gadget from Laser Packer. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here is the Laser Packer and as you see, there is a handle because you can use this as a handheld laser. So all you have to do is install the protective shield like this and you're good to go. Or if you want, you can use the stand and it's super easy to install because all you have to do is mount it like this and just tighten the knob. And here you can even change the angle of the laser or even the height which we'll talk about in a bit. And it also comes with this protective shield which is super easy to install because it's magnetic. So all you have to do is snap it into position and that's it. So to make the height adjustment work, we need to plug this USB-C cable from the stand to the laser packer. And then plug the power supply. And as you see, the LED light turns on instantly. Then scan the QR code to download the app for Android. But for iOS, then you need to email them. Right, so here's the Laser Packer app. And it's pretty straightforward. So here, there are a bunch of samples to choose from. And here, you can even take a picture and laser engrave it which is really cool and here you can even create a custom text or you can even doodle or draw which is a really nice feature then of course you can use pictures from your gallery or download photos online and there are also different modes to choose from right so let's try it on different materials so i'm gonna start with the paper so here before we engrave make sure that this thing is on top of the object that we are engraving on Alright, so let's go ahead and print this one and I'll set it to the max size which is 100 millimeters. And then let's tap start preview and it will show us the print area. And then let's go ahead and tap next. And then here you can choose the materials that you will use. So as you see, there are a lot of it. So for this, I'll select paper since we're going to use paper. Then here you can adjust the power. So you can lower the power if you want. Then you can also adjust the speed and depth. Then lastly, you can set how many times the laser passes through the outline. Alright, so let's go ahead and start engraving. Okay, so here is the result. So the engraving looks nice and clean and it really does engrave fast considering the size. So this one only took two and a half minutes to complete. Alright, so let's go ahead and print another one. So for this one, I changed the settings a little bit and made the speed to 5% slower which means this will engrave a bit deeper this time. So let's see how it goes. So as you see, the engravings are now darker than the previous one and this one looks way better. Okay, so here's another one and it looks really neat. And then let's try engraving on a cork. Right, so that took 1 minute and 39 seconds which is really really fast for this size. So here is the result and I really like it. And then let's try it with a popsicle sticks. So there you go nice and clean which is a thumbs up for me then let's go ahead and try it with a metallic card then here's the result and as you see it looks nice right so let's try it on a cloth so this one only took 44 seconds and here is the result. Now that looks really neat, right? By the way, who loves Spongebob? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it with a metal dog tag. Okay, so here's the result. Nice and clean. So here I adjusted the depth. So the engravings are really deep on this one and it looks really nice. By the way, the laser packer can also cut through wood like this and I think it can cut up to 5mm thick wood which is really cool. And here's another metallic card engravings. And of course, the result is amazing. So I'm really having fun using the Laser Packer Pro and I tried it with my Karambit and the result is really impressive. Then I also engraved my channel name on my phone case. And of course my favorite superhero which is Iron Man and it turned out super cool. 
Then I also tried it on a pouch. It also works with glass but you have to coat a thin layer of marker to make it work. Then you can just wipe off the marker. And here it is. The outcome is really impressive. So I also tried it with a cupcake and this is what it looked like. Then on a biscuit, cause why not, right? <laughs> and here is the result. I also tried it with a perfume bottle. Alright, so here is the result and it looks nice. So this is now a Spider-Man's perfume. Right, so here are some oddly satisfying laser engraving footage. Right, so here are all the engravings I did and I'm really impressed with the results and the engraving process is surprisingly fast compared to my old laser engraver that takes so much time just to engrave a small logo. The app is very straightforward, the interface is simple and easy to understand and what I like about it is that you don't need a computer just to operate the laser pecker too because all you need is your phone with a laser pecker app and you're good to go. So the question is, would I recommend it? Well obviously yes and I like everything about it so I highly recommend it especially if you're into customizations or DIY. Right so let me know in the comments below which engraving you liked most. And by the way, I'll put the link in the description below where you can find the laser pecker too. And if you guys have any questions and suggestions, just drop it in the comments below. And I hope you like this video. Subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one.